Welcome to a new episode of Plots We Have at Home, where we come up with the most unhinged story prompts this side of the Atlantic and let ChatGPT do the hard work and make sense of it. Or not. We read the stories out loud for you and it's always the first time for both of us hearing them, so you get our unfiltered reactions. I'm John. And I'm Danny. <laughs> and let's get right into our first story of the day. Here's the first story. <laughs> I'm already dead. Here's the first story of the day. Um, Lincoln hunts Damon. Victory. Abraham Lincoln stood amidst the shadows of an abandoned warehouse, his tall frame concealed beneath a tattered overcoat. In his hands, he held his trusted silver-edged axe, the weapon that had become an extension of his very being. The night was fill filled with an eerie silence as he awaited his quarry. Damon Salvatore, the cunning and powerful vampire from the TV show <laughs> The Vampire Diaries. Vampire Diaries is really confirmed. With a sudden gust of wind, Damon appeared before Abraham, his piercing gaze filled with arrogance. <laughs> ah, Abraham Lincoln, the famed vampire hunter, Damon sneered. You won't find it so easy to best me. I'm pretty sure they're going to have a contest of wit later. <laughs> always. It's always about the wit. Abraham's eyes narrowed as he prepared to strike. I've come to put an end to your bloodthirsty reign, Damon, he declared. With a swift motion, he lunged forward, swinging his axe with precision. But Damon's vampire reflexes proved formidable as he effortlessly evaded the blow. The chase began leading them through the dark, darkened streets of a forgotten town. Abraham's boots pounded against the pavement as he pursued Damon with unwavering determination. The weaved through, they weaved through alleyways and leaped over obstacles, their speed and agility pushing the limits of human capability. I mean, as for Damon, There's yes. not really much pushing there. <laughs> It's more like exceeding it by a mile. <laughs> But you mean Lincoln yeah. for an old man, I guess. Not too bad. Their first destination their first destination was an abandoned amusement park. It was its once vibrant attractions now overgrown and dilap dilapidated. The rusty roller coaster tracks served as their battleground, with Abraham leaping from one carriage to another, his axe glinting <laughs> in the moonlight. Damon, however, utilized his vampire vamp vamp Vampiric speed, vampiric, what the fuck? Damon, however, <laughs> utilized his vampiric speed to dart between the tracks, dodging Abraham's strikes with ease. Suddenly, the chase led them to a bustling bowling alley that had miraculously remained open late into the night. <laughs> Abraham's eyes darted around, searching for Damon amidst the clattering of pins and the cheers of the bowlers. The neon lights bathed the scene in a surreal glow as the vampire hunter maneuvered between the lanes, narrowly avoiding colliding with the players. Abraham spotted Damon at the end of the alley, his smirk widening. Sensing an opportunity, Damon unleashed his supernatural strength, sending a bowling ball hurling, hurtling towards Abraham. I just love that he calls him by his first name the, first, the whole time. Right? Yeah, that's great. And on the first name basis, if just they're like very rivals, I guess. Very, I don't know. <laughs> very casually, Abraham. Reacting swiftly, Abraham dodged the projectile, causing it to crash into the pins with a thunderous impact. <laughs> the bowlers looked on in disbelief as the game abruptly turned into a battle for survival. <laughs> At which, which point was it a game, though? <laughs> the bowling game. Okay, yeah. Like their bowling game, I guess. Regaining his composure, Abraham swung his axe, aiming to strike Damon down. But the vampire used the chaos to his advantage, swiftly vanishing into the shadows. Abraham's gaze darted around the alley, in anticipating Damon's next move. Suddenly, Damon materialized behind him, driving a swift blow to Abraham's back. The vampire hunter stumbled forward, but his determination remained unyielding. The chase reached its climax in an abandoned cathedral, its okay. crumbling walls <laughs> echoing with their clash. With each strike, Abram's axe sent sparks flying at it, and it clashed against Damon's supernatural strength. What? <laughs> the scent of ancient dust What? mingled with the scent of blood, filling the air with a palpable tension. 
Abram's years of experience as a vampire hunter had honed his skills and he used every ounce of his strength and knowledge to outmaneuver Damon. He anticipated his oppon opponent's moves, parrying with strikes and countering with calculated precision. As the final confrontation reached its peak, Abram delivered a devastating blow, severing Damon's head from his body. <laughs> the line Oh, wow. Uh, that took a turn. <laughs> the lifeless vampire crumpled to the ground. His reign of terror finally ended. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Abraham Lincoln, the vampire hunter, stood victorious, his chest heaving with exhaustion and triumph. The chase had been long and treacherous. Treacherous? Treacherous? Treacherous. Treacherous. Taking them through the forgotten corners of the world. But Abraham's unwavering de determination had prevailed. Well, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to give you all the insight at this point that ChatGPT put the whole text in red and was like, this text may violate our regulations, our content policy. And I was like, dude, what did you do? It could be the fact that he, that Abraham Lincoln decap decapitated, decapitated. I, I, I think it's just a decapitation. The decapitated yeah. freaking Damon. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean there's a lot of action in this story I was okay so I have to find out the, the weirdly specific thing that you put in yes. was it the places it was one of the places then it was the amusement park no it was actually the bowling alley it was alley. the bowling alley yes. <laughs> the amusement park was so freaking weird <laughs> yeah. I mean to be fair the bowling alley was also very weird because the the usual in the end was just the combination of the three places was very weird. That's awesome. But also ChatGPT kind of like took bowling alley a little bit too seriously, I think. Like too literally. Because it was like, yeah, at the end of the alley. And I just like had this picture in my mind or this image in my head. That it was just like an alleyway where people played bowling in. I just know. I had, <laughs> I I had know. the whole thing. I think that's what you say, actually. Uh, no, I saw the bowling thing. And it's, I just love that they did this like viciously brutal, violent fight. And people just kept playing bowling. <laughs> yes. I mean, if you if you ran And then the... suddenly it turned into a fight for survival. <laughs> When he, when he threw the bowling ball. <laughs> yes, because that's let's, something you don't do in a bowling alley. Let's just freaking ignore the axe. I mean, the axe only, like, sparked against his forearms or some shit, yeah, so I don't fucking very, know what went on there. <laughs> his vampiristic, vampir, vampiric... Vampiric what, what, strength. Vampiric, what kind of word is that even? I mean, that's an adjective for vampires. Vampiristic would be my word for that. I don't care. I, I, it was a weird word to read. <laughs> yeah. It's, um, it's okay, so that. the bowling alley. No, that was... It was actually great. Um, <laughs> yeah, I... No, I loved it. Um, no, we're on the watch list. <laughs> <laughs> that anyways. No, I don't think. Um, I also love Lincoln Hunt's Damon victory. Right? Just, just don't give up like the, the end in the fucking title already. Jesus, how hard is it? <laughs> um, yeah, but... Also how they suddenly... Were in a fucking bowling alley. That's, like, like, that's the whole thing. <laughs> where, just like, stumble into that. Where they have like all these... Changes of place, and and with the like the amusement park scene, there is this one episode in Moonlight, where True. Nick St. John is like yes. hide, like hunting this rogue vampire teenager, I guess. As one does on the freaking roller coaster, and that I was just picturing that the whole time. Who knows? Maybe it got like uh, inspired by that because I didn't mention a roller coaster like once. <laughs> Well, it was um, pretty much just like, yeah, just make like Abraham Lincoln, vampire hunter, hunt Damon Salvatore and uh, just like stop by at a bowling alley in the middle, make it like a little action scene and make him win in the end. That was pretty much it. <laughs> so, so Chat GPT just freaking violated the, the yes. guidelines. He could have just, I don't know, like... He usually does that. He usually like, is, it usually goes like, then he like he struck him down or something. It yeah, can be exactly. like less specific about I, the whole. I didn't make him do the whole like gore thing. 
I want to have that on the record. <laughs> okay. Honestly, I'm going to give this story a 10 out of 10. That was so wild, but also very coherent. Like I could follow through. It was Yeah. Uh, it was it had it had actual plot. That was great. I'm very confused about that part that it was so coherent. Yes. I I, I liked it. It was a, also like a pretty like even matchup. I felt that was that was a good opponent for the vampire hunter that is Abraham Lincoln. Yes. <laughs> And I also wanted to see like how much he gets confused about the vampire hunter Abraham Lincoln and the president. President. I think Abraham he just Lincoln. ignored he, president like, yeah. Abraham Lincoln. Yeah. So yes, it was just the vampire Always hunter. Always good for that. <laughs> All right. Beautiful stuff. The second story of today is called Sawyer's Trojan Horse. <laughs> Gotta okay. let that breathe for a second. Okay. <laughs> Once upon a time, in a twist of fate, Odysseus, the cunning hero of Greek mythology, found himself transported from the ancient world into the bewildering 21st century. <laughs> okay, starting hard. He quickly realized that his skills in trickery and deception could serve him well in this modern era. Wandering the streets of a bustling city, Odysseus came across a man who seemed, possess, uh, seemed to possess an air of vulnerability. <laughs> With a slight smile, he approached the unsuspecting stranger. <laughs> okay. Good day, my friend. I couldn't help but notice your troubled expression. Perhaps I can be of assistance? Odysseus offered, playing the role of a concerned citizen. The man, Sawyer, looked at Odysseus suspiciously but couldn't resist to... <laughs> but couldn't resist the allure of a potential solution to his problems. What's in it for you? Sawyer replied, eyes narrowed. Odysseus chuckled, recognizing a kindred spirit. Call me Odysseus, the wily wanderer, he replied, <laughs> his voice dripping with charm. What? I have a proposition that could make you a wealthy man. But first, tell me, what is your predicament? <laughs> Sawyer sighed and explained his financial woes. Mentioning his desire to strike it rich. <laughs> Odysseus' eyes gleamed with mischief. <laughs> ah, Sawyer, son of Scamander, I have just the plan for you. Odysseus exclaimed, knowing, that, <laughs> knowing well that Sawyer would be intrigued by the use of, <laughs> by the use of a Greek mythology-based nickname, okay? Is that, like canon that he's into mythology <laughs> that's new to me <laughs> have you ever heard of the legendary trojan horse no. <laughs> i'm sure not no. <laughs> so yeah raised an eyebrow yeah i've heard the story but what's got it <laughs> but what's it got to do with my trouble <laughs> odysseus leaned closer his voice barely above a whisper Picture this, my friend. Enormous, magnificent. <laughs> Picture this, my friend. Enormous, magnificent wooden horses. Not just any horses, but Trojan horses. People were glamoured to have one of her themselves, believing it to be a symbol of power and prestige. Because that was such a <laughs> symbol of power, I can't. I'm literally and crying. And we, my dear Sawyer, will be the ones selling them. So wait, they just gotta like <laughs> sell people horse? Okay, sure. <laughs> Sawyer's eyes widened, no. captivated by Odysseus' persuasive words. You're saying people will buy giant wooded horses? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard, <laughs> he scoffed. Also, very true. <laughs> Odysseus grinned, his eyes gleaming with mischief. Oh, Sawyer, the king of schemes, trust me on this. I have a knack for turning the improbable into fortune. Together, will amass riches beyond your wildest dreams. Sawyer hesitated, his skepticism worrying with his desire for a better life. Finally, he nodded. <laughs> All right, Odysseus, the master manipulator. Let's see if this Trojan horse scheme of yours has legs. I'm gonna cry. 
And so, the unlikely duo embarked on their grand venture, oh. crafting enormous wooden horses <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> that defied reason and logic. For sure that. <laughs> As they worked tirelessly, Odysseus <laughs> regaled Sawyer with tales of Greek mythology, prepping their conversations with colorful nicknames, each one trying to, <laughs> to the each one tying back to the ancient legends. I know. Weeks turned into months, <laughs> and their fantastical wooden horses began to take shape. <laughs> they began to take shape after months? <laughs> okay, then. Um. <laughs> uh, yeah. Odysseus was convinced they would soon be rolling in riches. No. But fate had a different plan for <laughs> plan in store. No shit. <laughs> As the completed horses stood proudly in a vast warehouse, ready to be unveiled to the world, Sawyer approached Odysseus with a mischievous grin in his eye. Odysseus, the grand deceiver, it's time we part ways. You've given me quite the adventure, but I think it's time for you to learn a lesson. <laughs> Odysseus' brow furrowed, sensing a change in Sawyer's demeanor. What are you up to? Ah, Odysseus, the guideful strategist, always one step ahead, Sawyer chuckled, his voice dripping with satisfaction. You see, my friend, these wooden horses of yours might not be as valuable as we thought. Oh, what? <laughs> Big plot twist. <laughs> Odysseus narrowed his eyes, realizing he had underestimated Sawyer's cunning. What trickery is this, Sawyer, the mysterious manipulator? Have you played me for a fool? <laughs> Sawyer shrugged, a smirk dancing on his lips. Nah, Odysseus, the master of deception, I simply discovered a market for these gigantic wooden horses. <laughs> they are not for the rich and powerful, but for the eccentric artists who want to create an, a unique sculpture park. <laughs> and that's a different clientele? <laughs> <laughs> Odysseus felt a mix of frustration and admiration for Sawyer's what? audacity. So you want to plan to sell our creations to an artist? How dare <laughs> are you? Are they truly Are they truly willing to pay a fortune from your sculptures? <laughs> Sawyer nodded, enjoying every moment of Odysseus' dismay. Believe it what? or not, Odysseus, the clever tactician. <laughs> Artists can be quite eccentric. Our Trojan horses, as absurd as they may be, have captured the imagination of this particular artist. He believes they represent a symbol of resilience and hidden surprises. No shit. He may believe that. Odysseus clenched his fist, realizing that he's been outwitted by Sawyer, the unforeseen trickster. Well played, Sawyer, the crafty con man. <laughs> It seems you have found or match in the art of manipulation. Sawyer chuckled and extended his hands, a touch of camaraderie in his eyes. <laughs> Indeed, Odysseus, the cunning contender. You're a formidable opponent, but sometimes even the willest of tricksters meet their match. What? Perhaps there's a lesson to be learned from this encounter? Odysseus sighed, a mix of frustration and grudging respect filling his heart. Very well, Sawyer. The, the illustrious imposter. <laughs> I've conceded defeat in this battle of wits. May your artistic endeavor bring you all the success you desire. And with that, Odysseus, the deceived hero, bid farewell to Sawyer, the unpredictable swindler. As he ventured back into the world, he carried with him a newfound appreciation for the complexities of modern-day deception and the never- Ever, uh, and the ever-evolving nature of cunning. In the end, Odysseus couldn't help but marvel at the audacity and ingenuity of Sawyer, <laughs> the master of illusion. <laughs> and perhaps in Fucking this unexpected magician. encounter, he had found a kindred spirit, one whose tricks would forever be etched into the memory of a reminder. What? As a reminder. As a re uh, one whose tricks forever <laughs> etched into his memory as a reminder that even the most cunning minds can be outmaneuvered in the game of deceit. <laughs>
Okay, so. Yes. <laughs> also that. <laughs> I mean, I can see the, the, the prompt working out like no. this with ChatGPT just very hard, hardly, no, trying very hard to make this whole Trojan horse thing work in some modern setting and giving Odysseus his, like, signature, uh, like, trick, I guess, if you want to call it that. But Jesus Christ, <laughs> who are the, like, I... <laughs> They're just trying to sell the horses? <laughs> I'm so confused. I don't even know, man. This is not the story I want. <laughs> <laughs> you sure? <laughs> I'm crying. I'm literally crying. Seriously. I Okay, so... Oh. Okay, the prompt I wrote... Before you say anything, yes. I would like to take a guess that the detail you included was them giving each other nicknames the whole time. Okay. Kinda. I mean, <laughs> also, that's the only thing you could d get from what ChatGPT did. The detail I, was, I wrote was, make Sawyer give Odysseus at least three Greek mythology-based nicknames. And I love that it also <laughs> kept bringing up the Greek mythology-based nicknames. Yeah, but then the also, like, Odysseus was the only one that, like, used one that was based in Greek mythology at the very yes, beginning, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Everything. It, it, it completely went completely <laughs> off the rails. I, okay, so what I... The prompt I wrote was... Odysseus is transported in the 21st century. Okay. Yeah. So far, so good. He's conning his way through life, because that's what he does. Yeah. And one day... He tries to trick a man he has just met into giving him all his money. So he tries to trick Sawyer into giving him all his money. And he has no clue that Sawyer is a con, a con artist, himself. artist himself. So yeah. what Sawyer does instead is tricking into Odysseus into thinking he could sell gigantic wooden horses and make money out of that. Okay, so it, it like completely flipped the whole thing upside down. Yes, <laughs> okay. it was not at all what I wanted. <laughs> What I said. It's so sad because that sounds like such a fucking great story. I know. <laughs> That's what I thought. It would have been so good. Maybe this is precedent for a, a, I, pr a prompt that we will have to let it rewrite yes. sometime in the future to for maybe hopefully get the result that we so desperately want and deserve. For a special episode. <laughs> but I, I, I don't even know what happened most of the time. And then they were just crafting these yeah, they, stupid they, horses. I can tell you, they just, like, uh, <laughs> met. He proposed to him that selling Trojan horses would be a great thing to sell to eccentric millionaires or some shit. <laughs> and then they built the horses in some warehouse for months. <laughs> <laughs> however, they, like, however, that paid off. Like, did they just... Also, don't even gonna horses, question that. plural. Yes, yes, of course. Um... <laughs> And then, he, and then the whole trick that Sawyer played, because he eventually tricked Odysseus by leaving him with the horses they had crafted together and making him sell them to artists instead, because... Oh, okay. I, like, I, un I understood it differently. I thought, like, the whole trick that Sawyer played was that he found a different buyer without Odysseus <laughs> and was going to sell them to the artists and, like, keep the money. Oh, maybe that. I don't because know. That's that would make the only sense. way that I feel like Odysseus has been tricked here and gets to. I was really confused. Gets like, to be like, oh, like, I've been outplayed. Yeah, that was what was so confusing. Was like, how did any of what Sawyer just did trick Odysseus? Like, what is the big, like the long con here? Explain this to me. I mean, there isn't really a long con. I would say. I mean, it's a month yeah. long con, apparently. So months plural. Also. Yeah. No, I think he just like so sold the horses without consulting to Odysseus and then was like, haha, now I <laughs> sold it to this artist who wants to have it as like a sculpture park. I just like, love that Chad GPT like totally went with that and went into the whole we can sell it to, to artists who want to build a eccentric an eccentric sculpture park. And it was like, I mean props to you for that, I guess. Maybe this is the connecting part to the <laughs> to the theme park from the first <laughs> story. <laughs> <laughs> 
going to be theme Who knows? Park. Um, that was something. Yeah, you, it was <laughs> maybe you rate this. <laughs> I mean, I would, I would give it a like a three or four out of out of ten. Three max. Seriously. Yeah, I would say three and three mostly for every time somebody got named in the story, it being like <laughs> <laughs> preceded. The crafty con man was my favorite. With a fucking title that they like address each other with. <laughs> that that that's the three points that it earned for me. I'm literally dead inside now thanks for that sweet baby jesus <laughs> that was a lot <laughs> our two stories for today thank you so much for listening and if you enjoy them maybe share them with somebody that you know wants to buy some wooden horses of us because we still have some in the back and we really need to get rid of them Otherwise, if you don't enjoy any of the stuff that we did, remember, we still have more plot at home.